And tonight we're going to talk about brand personality. We've got a book and the chicken of wisdom will share a pearl. <laughs> brand personality what do we yeah. mean yeah I, I think you know more about this than me you oh, started to tell me about this conversation you were having with your coach and this brand personality double personality personality surgery <laughs> <laughs> it can just go on can't it yeah yeah so um, okay, everyone. So I've had recently I had a social media review session with um, two ladies who run a consultancy called Make Good Things Happen. Mm. And one of them's local here in Ballarat, one of them's in Sydney, but I got a, a free session through Creative City Ballarat. So that was awesome. Mm. And they looked at both of my social media profiles and gave me some, some really useful pointers and a full report mm. um, with green, amber and red on it for oh, which, things so I needed to, yeah, which things were I was going well with and what things yeah. they needed to, um, that I probably needed to look at. Things like doing more lives or, mm. um, you know, consistency across some, some predictable things like consistency across visuals and, and stuff okay. like that and maybe looking at some custom tabs and, and things. But mm. one thing that was the most powerful thing I got out of it um, was basically I can sum it up as permission to be myself mm. and as as a business owner so and yeah. it was it was a wonderful feeling because you I mean I don't know what other people's I, I imagine this is a common experience but you know I'm starting out in a new business this is not my industry of expertise I've got 20 years in education behind me like I don't really know what I'm doing in a small business but then it's been told to me that nobody really does we yeah. all make it up as we go However, there is still that, that idea of how you're supposed to do something. And, you know, you look at yeah. the social media feeds and the Instagram feeds and mm. all of the similar pictures of the similar businesses. And, and it there's all the beige stuff out there. Like, you know, they seem to have these beautiful muted palettes and, you know, everything's kind of like frosted and pretty and I don't know. Uh, I'm, my grand doesn't look like that. <laughs> no, and, and mine never will. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bit, you know, um, um, and I just think, like, you know, that's okay, but, but you look through what's getting them lots of followers or what's getting mm. lots of likes and, you know, there's this impression, oh, well, I have to be that and I have mm. to do that mm. and that's how you do it. Mm. And 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 within degrees, that that's true. Like there's certain mm. things you, you probably need to do and be aware of. But I was, you know, just a bit trepidatious about the whole the whole thing, really. And and I put in sort of put in my, um, you know, as my taglines, you know, unique crafting adventures, or I was, was playing with a couple, you know, knitting communities together, unique crafting adventures. And look, to me, they sound lovely, but it was pointed mm. out to me that they're fairly generic and non-directional. Uh. So they don't really, like they say kind of what you do, but they don't say exactly what you do or what people can get from it or what yeah. people should do in order to be part of it. So were they it. saying that your brand didn't have a personality? Or were they no, saying... not directly, not at all, because clearly it does. I mean, look at my logo for a crowd. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Straight up, that's not your standard sort of yarn farm type logo, is it? Yeah, like, no. That was a deliberate choice. Like I wanted it to be fun and quirky. But mm. what I'd sort of forgotten was to bring that fun and quirkiness that you can see here mm. into the words I literally use to mm. to to connect that quirkiness or that idea of fun that I'm going for. I don't mm. want to be too serious, like mm. with with the actual um, you know presentation, say at least on social media. Yeah. So, so did have, they make you explain what the personality of your business is, or what your who you think your business is? No, no, okay. they didn't make me explain that. But mm. I but when they said, oh look, the words you've used are very common words, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, mm. I did start. Uh, I did start saying to them, "Oh well, you know, I did hold back a bit on that. I, I've got a fairly, fairly extroverted personality. I don't know if you've noticed, everybody, but you know, <laughs> there. So unalike, yes. <laughs> oh, there, people. Um, it, you know, and I said, "Oh, I feel like I've been holding myself back a bit because of the mm -hmm. things I'm supposed to do and supposed to write." And they're mm -hmm. like, "No, just be you. People want authenticity." 
They want to know who's behind what's going on. And that, that mm. just felt lovely because I thought, look, I'm a good writer. I can write mm. funny things. I can I can do, you know, mm. I can do quirky and, and not so serious, but I just have to do it my way. And so that was, it was yeah. just, I finished the call feeling like I'd been given permission to write the way that came more naturally to me. And so, you know, I rewrote the taglines and, you know, with things like adulting is boring and let's escape to regional Victoria. You know, we don't want to do the laundry anymore. We want to get on the knitting bus. What we want to do, like, duh, as if you like, right? And straight away, look, and, you know, look, I don't know if that's that's a really awesome thing to write there. I don't know if I'm going to like it in a month, but mm. I've got to play with it and, and yeah. find out who is it that's behind Yarn Trail Victoria mm-hmm. and what do I really want it to sound and feel like? And so mm-hmm. it, it feels already more comfortable. That I'm, yeah. I'm allowing my personality to feed into the brand that I'm trying to create and that's going to make it slightly different to, to what's out there. Just like everyone's should be slightly different in its own. Exactly. Way. Yeah. I definitely think your logo with your, um, your alpaca poking his or her head up you know, inquisitively with that little cock of the head, you know, yeah. and there's, it, there's definitely a sense of fun and playfulness and the palette as well is very much like sweet and fun and, you know, it's not, I don't see it as like a really, you know, professional schmick, you know, scandy chic kind of thing, you know, and so, yeah, it, it makes sense to me that the language would speak of quirky, fun, curious, or trying to sort of something a bit tongue in cheek, something yeah. a bit, you know, whatever, something a bit, oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay, mm. cool. You know, that type of thing. Mm. Um, so it's just nice. And I think, I think it's also, I think it's a journey as well. You know, I've been, it's it's just coming up to probably a year where I, you know, started all this. So it really is a journey of, oh, I've got to find it. You can't get it right the first time. You can't just go this is exactly what my business mm. is and you know well, I mean I can't maybe people can but mm. you know this is it's got to mesh and move and and you know mm. you've got to figure it out and it's a it's it's a slightly nerve-wracking but it's a learning fun learning process too mm. Mm. so <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I mean I'm still curious about how you sort of find your brand personality like how do you know what your brand personality is and do we all need to go and get some coaching to work it out or are there some some kind of hallmarks within our business that we can look at in order to know what our brand personality is? Well, I think I think it's really going to come back to why we're doing what we're doing as well. And mm-hmm. and what is it that we what is it that I can offer in this space? You know, I wouldn't mm. be the only one doing these things, but mm. I want to create community connections and groups. But mm. what do I bring that's slightly different? Well, mm. I don't bring a different use to Instagram or, you know, I'm I'm still using the tools everybody's Mm. using, but I'm not like everybody else, just Mm. like you're not like everybody else. So I think Mm. it comes down to that, you know, people want authenticity, especially from that, Mm. that, you know, the small business type thing, like what we're doing. It's different when you get to say a corporate, you know, a bigger corporate Mm. brand, but I think, I think there is huge value in in the authenticity of the person behind the small business Mm. being, putting themselves out there in a in a safe but vulnerable way to mm, say mm. I'm here and I do this and yeah so I wonder out. even if it's harder to maintain brand personality when you're not so when you're the social media um, manager but you're not the person driving the business like, I wonder what the strategies are there other than having a brand toolkit and this and that oh like, well, yeah there's that, all of those things yeah. but then you also have to start thinking about like what I have to start thinking about is is the is the literal language that gets used the yeah. copy that is yeah. used and how do you bring across how do you bring across that personality with words you have to mm-hmm. you have to know what what words you wouldn't use and would use you know like yeah yeah and I, I think this is a really interesting thing I've spoken with some knitting businesses have said that they've outsourced to social media um, managers who don't know our language and it's like reading a foreign language without the right accent <laughs> you know it's like because we speak the way that we talk about our our knitting practice and our fiber ecosystem is quite different to people who aren't part of it you know and there's 
even yeah. I'm doing some brand um, branding update. And, um, you know, one of the images that crept in was, and uh, I mean, there's so many beautiful things that I'm really, really happy about. Mm -hmm. One that crept in was a pair of glasses. And for me, like I went, no, hang on. Like, I don't want things that kind of, and I know you wear glasses, Jess, and you're not an older woman, but, you know, <laughs> I sort of didn't want there to be sort of, for me, it said stereotype, like older, this is for older people. Da, yeah. da, da, or older women so for me I, I wanted that cut out but and, and I think a lot of people within our ecosystem feel the same like we don't want to be fitting you know a cardboard cut out version of what it means to be a knitter some little old lady with a bun you know? yeah. it's, mm. anyway. I think that's really really important and you know yeah. I don't want I've got I mean as far as personality and authenticity and branding goes I've got a, a very basic website up mm. like I need to you know look more at that and but I I also don't want it to look like every farm in the area or mm. every you know th there's a there's a oh look it's not a standard format but there's the idea of you know the big header picture mm. of the the fields and the farm and the animals yeah. and all that sort of stuff and that's beautiful and it, it says exactly what is supposed to happen but I, I just want um you know imagery is important but yeah. I want something a little bit that stands out that you know yeah. a cartoon alpaca stands out it like, does you know yeah. i don't even know which way to point, point. <laughs> we, yeah, can yeah. we can see him it's like <laughs> going backwards you know it stands out a bit and the fact that it's not green and that it's not you know i, I just think i think it's worth probably experimenting with and yeah like you said it gives the idea that it's a bit fun and quirky mm. um, you know, one day I just need, oh, here you go, Prue, one day I'll need to just save up lots and lots of money, buy my own bus and put the signage all over the side that says yes. the knitting bus. I'd love to see that. <laughs> oh, how fun would that. that be? And the knitting yes. bus would have colours coming off it and it would have, and it'd go down the freeway and everyone would be, oh, oh my God. Oh, I love it. All that happened. Wouldn't it be fun? <laughs> yes. I could so totally fun. see that. <laughs> anyone know a grant, you know, like anyone know a bus driver? I can't <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I think I think just think it's lovely to lean relax back into this is who I am this is why I want to do this and all I can offer is me and mm -hmm. it's good enough and that's got its quirks and I'm not mm -hmm. exactly the same as everyone else and I'm going to bring that out mm -hmm. and it's just really nice to sort of I don't know think about that mm -hmm. yeah Cool. Oh, excellent oh well okay I think brand personality is a thing um maybe yeah. it's a bit of homework for people to think about you know their personality yeah. as a brand yeah. and and yeah maybe even get someone like a, a critical friend not necessarily a, a coach because not everyone can afford a business coach or has a, access to a grant I know you've got yeah, a that's right. yeah. grant funding to do that but um you know just have someone read and say does this like sound like my logo or does it sound, sound yeah. like me as well does it sound like the way I talk or is it is it yeah. a little and I bit the challenge comes too when businesses do get a bit bigger and there's more mm. human personalities involved in that and it would be a bit of a negotiation and you know mm. that, that would be an interesting process as well but for mm. you know for for a sole trader and, and for beginning mm. out you know starting yeah. out like you you know you've, you've got the the space to test yeah test things and and to just you know figure out again why you're doing what you're doing and what it is you bring to the table yeah keep going back to that that Don't why be, yeah that way purpose why. yeah absolutely cool oh, cool well hey, you have a book <laughs> is that right yeah. is that what we were That's doing what i was gonna say so you have a book for us this evening i do very relevant look at that brioche so this is uh brioche knitting uh, it's by Leslie Ann Robinson. I had the great privilege of attending her class in New York. Was so, it a brioche class? Brioche class, yeah. So we did um, mosaic brioche in two and three colours. We had like just, wow. yeah, she's amazing. So the way she set this book up, it starts with the beginner in mind. So you're getting going with brioche and she's got a little project for you um goes lots of um diagrams and things step yeah. by step yeah and then she goes into more adding more challenging techniques and um and then another project and then more techniques and another project and it goes right through to 
some much more challenging pieces where you've got movement in your brioche. Oh, yeah. That wow. decreases and increases. And, yeah, so she's adding all these different techniques. And it, it's just beautiful. And there's across the whole book, there's um, so many different projects like beanies, cows, um, there's sweaters, um, all sorts of beautiful things. Like this is really gorgeous too, this little hat. Oh, so, yeah. You know, all different kinds of projects, really well set out, um, nice and colourful. She's she's called Nick Graffiti on Insta and she's just, oh, cool. you've got this real sense of like oh, look at that. playing with colour and just, oh, yeah. I love that. It's cool, isn't it? That one's called Glitz and Glamour. But yeah, she's super fun. Um, well worth following her on Insta. I'm just flicking through all the other sort of stuff. But um, I quite like this top. I want to make this top. This is simple but really effective. It's in the earlier part of the book, so I'm just trying to find it. Da -da 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 -da. Here it is, mist. I really like this mist top. Oh, like okay, drop, yeah. Like boxy, boxy yeah. top um, with the... Uh, Rioche body it's really cool anyway so yeah um well worth following her and getting that book um so what was it again knit graffiti she, her name is nick her insta is nick graffiti and her book is called brioche knitting for yeah. beginners and beyond but her, her name is her actual name is leslie and robinson cool. yeah wonderful well do is you know what in time yeah <laughs> I know, right? Oh, come back here, you silly chook. Right. So the chicken has something to say for us this evening that are not actually her own words. She's pinched a quote. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so incredibly relevant to our brand personality talk that I could not resist. Um, well, no, sorry, the chicken could not resist sharing <laughs> this with us. All right. So the quote comes from Jimmy Carr, love him or hate him, mm -hmm. but I read his um, memoir last year and this is just a gorgeous quote. Don't try to sell yourself. Mm. Be yourself and wait for the demand. Oh, that's good. Just that's really good. That, yeah, that authenticity, the personality, be yourself and wait for the demand. So um, I'm waiting, people, okay? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, I love it. Oh, That's well, a good one. Thanks, chicken. <laughs> yeah, thanks, chicken. Off you go. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's a wrap for right. us again tonight. It is and, a wrap. Uh, I'm off to do some knitting. How about you, Jess? Yep, I'm, I might do exactly the same in, in front of an episode of Criminal or something like that. Beautiful. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.